Well, hello there, ladies and gents. I'm Tammy Sapniewski. Thank you so much for popping by my channel. In this video, we're going to be going over audio ducking. So this is a requested video from Mr. Alan Pepper, who said he just couldn't get it to work in LumaFusion, so I'm gonna do a quick tutorial on that. And in case you didn't catch on, audio ducking is when you have your video, and let's say your voice or a voiceover is going to be the master audio in the video, but you wanna sprinkle in a little bit of music for ambiance. This is going to level out the audio, so when you're not speaking, the levels of the music will go up, and when you start speaking, the level of the music will drop automatically and it won't be a sudden change, it'll be a nice smooth transition. Before I go to the overhead camera though, I just wanna say yes, I redid the office, but in my mind, it looked differently than the way it actually came out, but oh well, we'll have to deal with it for a little while. I did wanna point out the RGB strip though. In my prior videos, you may have noticed that RGB strip was flickering, fading in and out through the video. I got a new set of RGB lights and they are by Deer Dance. And these guys don't do that weird flickering. So if you're looking for a really good set of RGB strip lights that are not a lot of money, these guys are awesome. I think I paid like 23 bucks for them on Amazon and I will leave a link for them in the description box below. All the links are Amazon affiliate links. So if you do buy off the link, it does help to support the channel and I thank you. Now buckle up because this is gonna be a quick tutorial. Really, there's not much to it. But the first thing we wanna do is check out our audio ducking settings. And how we're going to do that is by going to the question mark on the lower right-hand side of the screen. And this is going to bring up your settings for all of LumaFusion, but we're focusing on audio ducking. So we're just going to hit ducking. And these are the settings that I have for my audio ducking. Now basically what these do is control the transition between your speech and your music. How quickly does the music fade in and out while you're speaking? If you want to hit pause and duplicate them, please do. Obviously the first thing we want to do is bring a video into the main timeline. I always find it's easiest to do the audio ducking when you separate the audio from the video. So we want to give the audio its own layer. Now how we dump that out is just by hitting the little audio sign right there and that is going to drop out the audio from the video. Now I wanna find a little bit of music so let's go to story blocks. Now I'm just going to grab a song and just pull it down right below the layer of the audio for the video. So let's double tap the audio for the video and that is going to bring us into the setting windows for that. So we wanna to go to configuration and make sure this audio is on master. We want LumaFusion to recognize that everything is going to revolve around this main line of audio. And let's double tap on the line of music just to show you that when you go to configuration, it's automatically going to be on auto. Once you pick that master line, everything else should automatically shift to auto. Now, being that we had the audio ducking settings done where we want them, it should automatically work, but sometimes it doesn't. So let's go ahead and take a listen to show. Well, hello there, ladies. I found that, you know, the, the audio for the music could have been much higher. So in instances like this where LumaFusion isn't recognizing that the music should be higher, what you need to do, and I will highlight the audio from the video, I will peel back the areas where I'm not speaking so that it can recognize, okay, the music can be significantly higher. and that was a perfect transition. So in areas where I'm not speaking, what I'm going to do is just make sure that audio is highlighted. I will make a little snip with the scissor and just pull back the audio. Just like that, just erase it so that it can recognize, okay, the music needs to shift up. We'll listen to it again. Because it's a rant. You know what, let, let me set the mood here. Let me change. Perfect. Now, being that this was the world's shortest tutorial, I think I might go ahead and just throw something else on here. Someone had asked me how you share projects between devices. So you might have LumaFusion on your iPhone and your iPad. So let's say you're working on a project on your iPhone. You get home and you wanna work with it on your iPad. That project is not going to be on your iPad unless you send it from your iPhone. So let's go ahead and show you how to share 
projects between devices. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure these two devices are together. So let me just go ahead and just bring my phone close to my iPad. Now we're going to hit the share button on the lower right hand side of the screen and we're going to choose LumaFusion project package and we're going to choose airdrop. Make sure all the settings are correct, hit share and hit share again and that is going to write the project. Now it's going to ask you where you want to airdrop that to and it's going to recognize if your phone is close to your iPad, you just hit iPhone and boom, that is going to send that to my iPhone. And there we go, it's automatically going to launch onto this device. All right, so there, you got a twofer. You know, I knew that tutorial wasn't gonna take long. I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, did you see what's back there, hmm? Yep, Mayono made me the 2020 Influencer of the Year for their brand, how awesome is that? They probably send out like a few hundred of these. But <laughs> anyway, it's like, it's, it's really heavy. It's like a solid award. So I'm presenting it. I'm pretty proud of it. Well, thank you so very much for joining me. And until next time, please wear your sunblock and call your mom and dad just to say how much you love them. Hello? Hi, dad. Hi, what's up? Not much. How are you? How's up? Uh...